Good afternoon. I'm here to show a new toy. So my last video was a little toy for crushing barley grain. Instead of using a, a conventional brake for uh, processing our flax fiber. And I got looking on the internet to see if I could find something that might be better than the little grain crusher. And I found something that looks to be promising. It does the same thing as the grain crusher. So it's not actually a brake. But what it does is it crushes the flax fiber in between a couple rollers that have, that have grooves in them and basically crushes it so the inner core can break away easily. And this might be good in conjunction with a real simple brake, not a big, just a narrow brake with a couple, couple blades in it to help knock that out after running it through one of these machines. Um, and so I just wanted to see if it's gonna work. Uh, this didn't break the bank. This was about 250 bucks. And it is a Chinese made item, but we no longer have anybody here in the US making these. So, cause they couldn't compete with China. Um, they are here in the US um, as an imported thing and they were, they've been here for a while. So I'm not worried about that. Um, everything's been cleaned, everything's been washed. It is a pretty decent device. It has, is uh, gear driven and the gears on this thing are uh, super re reduction gearing. So it'll, it'll high torque. I can ro crank this handle a few times where these rollers go just a little bit. And so all the rollers are gear driven. So this is the feed roller right here. And then this roller and the one behind it are the rollers that actually crush the, uh, the fiber or um, sugar cane, because that's what this is. This is a sugar cane press to uh, juice sugar cane. So I wanted to use it for something else. Um, it's very durable, it's very strong. And since I'm not putting a lot of flax in here, it should handle this no problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can see, but in general, what you're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the crank this way, and it, just, and it just feeds everything right on through. So we'll need need to figure out adjustments on on pressure, um, figure out what the everything should be and um, and so this pulley here is hand it's a hand crank pulley which is real easy or i could mount it on a on a frame and put the electric motor on and put a v-belt on this and just run it with a with a motor and just and just feed it in now this thing will have safety covers on it since i'm doing it hand crank i'm not worried about it grabbing me while I'm putting fiber through. But if I was gonna run it at any greater speed, I'd have to have safety equipment put on this thing, and, and I would. And it would just feed it out the back. And then you take that, just stack it up after you're done crushing it, and then break the fiber away. So let me bring this in close, let's take a look, see how this thing works. Good view, so we'll just, Crank this handle around and so it goes really slow. I've got it pre I got it put pressed together pretty tight. Just because I need to see how tight I have to have this thing. Um, but it does go through without without damaging the fiber. And these are just lightly lightly ribbed anyway, mostly for grip. So mostly it's just squeezing it and crushing the inner core. So we're gonna get some fiber here. And I'm not gonna to do too, too large of a handful, just like the other one. So 
so just like this and then I would feed it just like this So then it comes out the back. Really nice and flat. And so that helps break that inner core just by crushing it. Puts little grooves in it, little ridges in the fiber. And it is a pretty tight squeeze. And then I'll just hang on to it this side and then we'll just run it through. Looks like my adjustments are not right because it's pulling it to one side. I'm going to back off on this side a little bit. And if I want, I could run it through again. And that crushes it in a different spot. Fibers still come through. One bit of fiber stuck and just kind of going around. So these other ones just kind of maybe it's pushing it to that side. through this whole batch um, and then we're gonna then we're gonna process the fiber um, everything so I'm gonna run through a couple here while we're doing this and then I'll do some more then we'll come back and show you the results so we're gonna roll the fiber. Um, I'm going to roll it once. Rolls it all the way down to the tips. And we'll just set it aside and then we'll process it after. So again, and if we had, if this was motorized, we could do this even faster. Go just kind of run this stuff through, and it will take it in, and it will crush it. So this thing's definitely doing what it says it will do, 
and there's a lot of pressure on this thing. A whole lot of pressure on this baby. Definitely, definitely spring loaded. So we'll just run this through twice on this one because this is a big, big fat handful here. Make sure we get a good, good crush. The electric motor would make this a lot faster. So I think we want to keep it. within reason on the size of pieces that we put through. Flatten it out a little bit, kind of spread it out a little bit if we're doing it without the covers on it. I believe that would do much better. Like that. So now that you have kind of an idea of what it does, let me uh, crank through this stuff and then we'll get back with you. So we're going to focus in here so you can see the little nubs and ridges that this thing puts in when it crushes and it's just kind of like a little a little block and then knock out the fibers And then once you get the fibers knocked out, then you scutch it to get the rest of them out. This just kind of breaks it up since I don't have a break break. Crushing helps just helps this process easy. And so everything breaks apart real fast. You just shake it out and it's like it came off a break. Maybe not quite as clean, but uh, Good scutching will knock most of that out, and that's what our goal is. So, just wanted to show you that last part there, and then we'll just come it out just like just like normal. 
in uh, processor fiber. And that's what we do.